Okay, so welcome back to my channel, Matin Language, and we're going to tackle present value, simple interest in the present value. So before we start, I'd just like to clarify that the P and PV are P stands for principal and the PV stands for present value. Parehas lang sila ng ibig sabihin dun sa formula natin. Just a refresher to mga variables natin, FB means future value. In other textbook, magiging A to, letter A. And for I, that's interest amount P per principal, PV for present value, R per rate, and T per time. So, so sa video na to, gagamitin natin yung PV for present value. So again, to clarify, principal and present value, parehas lang sila. So moving on, let's go to the formula for the present value in simple interest. PV is equal to FV, future value, over the quantity 1 plus RT, or rate times time. Or, present value is equal to the future value minus mo ng interest amount. Alright, so let's have an easy one muna. Example number one, Hermione finally received the matured amount of $6,000 from the bank, which have earned her an interest amount of $250. How much was the principal? So again, principal and present value, parehas lang yun. So we can now start by placing the formula. PV, or present value, is equal to future value minus mo ng interest amount. Bakit ito yung gagamitin yung formula? Kasi ang sa given mo, you only have the future value and my interest amount ka na. So, gamitin na natin itong formula na to. Present value is equal to future value minus interest amount. So, let's substitute the given. Present value is equal to 6,000 minus 1 ng 250. So, the answer for this one is 5,750. So, yung deposit niya daw na amount ay 5,750 na nagkaroon siya ng interest amount na $250. So, yung future value na yun ay $6,000. Okay, so let's go to example number 2. Harry finally received the matured amount of $3,000 from the bank that he deposited 5 years ago with an annual rate of 10%. How much did he deposit? So in this question, you have the future value, merong ka ding rate, and merong ka ding time. So we can use the formula, present value is equal to future value over mo ng quantity 1 plus RT. So present value is equal to 3,000 over the quantity 1 plus 0.10 times 5. 0.10 kasi 10%. 5 kasi 5 years. So we can simplify it. Yung sa denominator, 0.10 times 5, that will be 0.5. Plus man 1, that is 1.5. So simplify it further, 3,000 divided by 1.5, that will be $2,000. Okay? So yung naka-receive siya ng amount, na matured amount ng 3,000 at nakuha niya after 5 years to with an annual rate of 10%, ang dineposit niya 5 years ago ay $2,000. So, ibabalikit mo lang siya, 5 years ago, nag-deposit siya ng $2,000. So, naghintay siya ng 5 years kasi ang annual rate nito ay 10%. Okay? So, nakuha niya after 5 years ay 3,000 kasi future na, future value ay 3,000. Ang present value mo, that will be $2,000. Let's go to example number 3. Ron needs to have 97500 available in 9 years and 6 months to pay for his son's first year of college. Find the lump sum he must invest now if the investment is paying 10% interest rate per year. So, meron ka ditong future value at meron ka time and also the rate. So, anong kano daw yung kailangan niyang i-invest ngayon para makakuha siya ng 97,500 after 9 years? So, you're finding for the present value. Lagay mo na yung formula at isubstitute na natin yung given. So, present value is equal to 97,500 over mo sa quantity na 1 plus 0.10 na times mo dun sa 9 plus 6 over 12. So, anong galing yung 6 over 12? Remember, ang time sa interest palagi nakadepend sa, sa year. And sa given mo, you have 6 months. So, there are 12 months in a year. 
So, kung yung fraction nun, that will be 6 over 12. So, 9 years, so 9 plus 6 over 12 siya. Ngayon, simplify natin yung denominator. 6 over 12 is 0.5. Plus mo ng 9, 9.5. Tapos, times mo ng 0.1. And you add a 1 there, you will get 1.95. Ngayon, simplify na natin. 97,500 over 1.95. The answer is $50,000. So, kung gusto niya makakuha ng 97,500 after 9 years and 6 months, at meron daw investment na nagbibigay ng 10% interest rate per year, kailangan niya na mag-invest ng $50,000 in yung present value. Okay, so mini quiz tayo. James needs to have $1,040 available in 73 days. So he could join the Bitcoin Traders Club. Find the lump sum you must invest in a bank now if the investment is paying 20% interest rate per year. So, kailangan daw ni James ng $1,040 in 73 days. Meron daw investment na 20% interest rate per year. So, magkano daw kailangan niyang i-invest ngayon para after 73 days makakuha siya ng $1,040. So, I'll give you 5 to 10 seconds. You may want to pause the video and I will give you the answer as well as the solutions after this. Okay, time's up. So, the final answer is $1,000. So, paano nakuha yun? You have the future value. You have the rate. You also have the time. Problema lang yung time mo naka-days. Okay? So, no worries about that. So, gagawin mo lang. Lagi mo yung formula. And after that, you can substitute the given. So, present value natin ay is equal to 1,040. Fraction bar, 1 plus point. 2 or 0 0.20 kasi 20% diba? Kailangan mong gawin siyang decimal. Ngayon naman, pag 73 days, again, ang time nakadepend sa year. There are 365 days in a year. Okay, ang given mo ay 73 lang. So that will be 73 over 365. Now, we're going to multiply it and simplify muna natin yung denominator. 0 0.20 times mo ng 73 over 365 o plus mo ng 1 the answer sa denominator natin will be 1.04. Now, simplify it further. 1,040 divided by 1.04, that will be 1,000. So, the present value is 1,000. So, kung gusto makakuha ni James ng 1,040 in 73 days, na meron daw investment, yung banko na to, na 20% interest rate per year, kailangan niya magbigay na, or mag-deposit na ng $1,000. Para after 73 days, in future value, makukuha niya ng 1,040. And that's the end of the lesson about finding the present value. Ang next video natin will be about finding the rate naman. A future value simple interest. So we have the formula, rate is equal to future value over present value. Yung sagot niyan, ma-minus ng 1. At that yan, over natin sa time. If you would like to comment or suggest another Metal Language video, if you add to my assignment, kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. And also click the bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong videos ng math and language.